All right, guys, we have some giveaway things and a couple of your packages. Let's get these out. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Actually, welcome back to another video. And today's video was actually filmed two to three weeks ago. So, see, that's probably see I just woke up. I'm pretty much editing the video, and uh, I just want to let you guys know the past like week and a half, I have been just sitting in my room, just chilling. You guys even see my Instagram I'm playing video games for like the first time in a year and a half. I think I've burnt myself out to the point to where I got pretty damn sick. I had a migraine for like nearly a week long. My migraine is still here. It's nothing crazy, but I'm able to at least film this for you guys. You guys haven't been seeing this because I was ahead in like, I was ahead of the game for like a video and then I was able to just edit that video, which is building the F10 in five minutes. And then this video is already pre-recorded. So it's my last pre-recorded video. So I'm just recording this intro to kind of just let you guys know what's going on. I've, I've just been feeling like absolute doo-doo. But anywho, all that being said, uh, yeah, uh, I'm feeling a lot better today. It isn't Corona or anything like that my temperature is more crazy it's just like a really bad migraine i think it's because of stress or something like that if you guys have been watching the last couple of videos and all the things i've been talking about you guys are probably knowing what's going on but if you guys don't you know if you know you know Anywho, I don't want to talk about all that stuff, but today's video is a fuel pump video that I filmed a couple weeks ago. So if you guys look at the 135, you're like, why is there a bumper on the car? The bumper was completely burnt off. Yeah, it is completely burnt off. I don't have the bumper anymore. But this was filmed three weeks ago. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into it. Oh boy, I love this car. That old lady was not happy. <laughs> Alright guys, just made to the post office. Your man's gotta slap on a mask and then uh, drop off your guys' packages. Time to get my in and out. I'm good, thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. Your boy's got his water, his two protein style burgers. I right, let's head home. Got my water, got the burgers. Go ahead and just pop this sucker open. I love the unboxing of in ounce burgers. Damn, hold up. Check that out, guys. So we have a regular cheeseburger protein style, double-double protein style. I normally get two double-doubles, but I decided, you know what? Today, I don't want to get four patties. Three patties is good enough with all this lettuce. Um, I'm going to show you guys how it looks. It looks delicious. All right. I'm gonna dig in, boy. I'm gonna get straight into some car things. Don't worry. So now that we finished our meal, we are here with Copper Jr. Um, guys, I'm absolutely loving how this car is really coming together. It definitely needs to get lowered just a tad bit in the rear and just a tad bit in the front. But in terms of fitment, this thing is looking pretty nice, pretty girthy. Super excited about these, like my God. So what we have in store for this car today is the fuel pump. Like I told you guys, I'm trying to push 500, or like around 500 to the wheels as soon as possible on this car so we can start putting on the GoPro and start taking off for some runs on the highway and just start enjoying this car, maybe take it out of the track. I never actually had a car with a great amount of power, so 500 horses, guys, that's like almost supercar status. And actually, that actually does better than a lot of supercars nowadays. Plus, it's super tiny, so I actually think it could beat a couple supercars so all that being said let me show you guys what we got so we got the full fuel it kit so this is the actual fuel pump um we have the tool to remove the fuel pump the old one replace it with this one and a few other little things so i heard it's not too hard removing it from this car unfortunately this is a coupe so we do have to kind of squeeze in the rear pop out the rear seats and get to them but I also heard it's really not that bad. So I opened up all the windows because it is super hot here in the garage. I feel like I'm gonna sweat a bunch, but it's definitely gonna be worth it. So let me set you guys up on a tripod and uh, get to that fuel pump right there. And just like that guys, that's how it's supposed to look. So that's how it's connected on the bottom there. Pretty easy stuff. Basically there's a, there's a hole there and then there was actually like, basically like a guiding pin. 
and then uh, that's how you insert it. And once you've inserted this piece on, we're pretty much ready to go. We can go ahead and just reinsert this whole pump. I'll show you guys what, we what we're gonna be connecting and what things we're actually gonna be leaving because we're not connecting everything when we put this thing back. All right guys, so look at it from the inside. These two uh, hoses that were just pretty much, pretty much connected to nothing but was sitting on the bucket, you don't have to connect any of those. You're just gonna be leaving those. They're just the fuel set lines. They're just gonna go right back into, right back into the fuel tank. So who cares about those two? That one that was connected with the green tab needs to get connected back into the fuel pump the fuel it one and this is gonna be connected to the head the top of the white piece and then uh, yeah you're good to go and then you can pretty much assemble the rest of this thing assembling it is a whole lot easier so do not worry all right guys actually before we take it out for a quick little spin my windshield is filthy so we're gonna have to get some windshield washer fluids it is completely out so uh, that being said, I did actually get some Witcher Washer Foods the other day. It's actually sitting in the 535 and it's been bugging me. It's been rolling around everywhere. So let's go ahead and get it out of the 535, put it in this car. And then we also have another problem. I fixed this, I, left the, I don't know if I left the battery drain or something, but the doors will not lock and unlock for some reason. It just, it just doesn't. I have to roll down the windows uh, with the key and then unlock the door manually. I don't know what's going on. I think I messed something up when I was uh, coding the other day, but I didn't notice it because I was doing some coding the other day. And I don't think I realized that I messed those up until today because, uh, yeah, the car's been sitting for a little bit, as you guys know. But anyway, let's get the winter washer fluids. We'll figure out the whole coating situation later. I'm just super happy the fuel pump's working. Bada bing, bada bang. Guys, it was a fuse. I'm so freaking happy, oh my lord. I'm so happy, I love it when it's a fuse problem. But now we gotta buy a fuse, but that's way better than replacing both door actuators, I can tell you that, I'm super stoked, anywho. All right guys, we are in the car right now, we're gonna go ahead and throw it in drive, it's our first spin in uh, the new fuel pump swapped 135. Once I get the intercooler swapped as well, I'm gonna be actually trying to do a custom tune with the JB4, and uh, that should hopefully get us, according to Burger Tuning's website with all the boltons, around 500 horsepower, which is gonna be absolutely insane. Guys, I'm sweating so bad, but uh, it's all good, it's all good. I'm super happy that the locks were actually because of a fuse. Now, I did actually take out that fuse and I put it back where it needed to be because I took it out of one of the engine ones and I don't want my car misfiring all the way to get another fuse for the for the engine. So I put that one back for the, the, the engine and I, uh, left the door locks off so the doors still don't work right now we're gonna head down to harbor freight and get a bunch of fuses if you guys didn't know harbor freight sells like a hundred fuses for like seven dollars unlike autozone it's like four or five fuses for seven dollars they literally they literally give you one of each fuse for seven dollars which is absolutely ridiculous you can order like a thousand fuses for 20 bucks on amazon and here we're gonna head down to harbor freight and hopefully they got it i do have my mask in the car i do have my wallet we are good to go the car is warmed up so let's see if we can just give it a quick little rip hopefully you guys don't fall right there it's actually a really good mounting spot but uh God, guys, this thing, <laughs> this thing is quick. This is my fastest car that I own right now. I can tell you that. At this point, I legitimately want to race Jonathan and <laughs> get him back for that race I lost in the 435. The 435 has a lot of things to make it look really good, but does add so much weight, like the bags. We have the giant splitter on there that adds an extra like maybe 20 or 30 pounds, but protects a lot of stuff, protects my lip, protects my bumper. I have a lot of things on there that like even 20 inch rims that, are, you know, it adds weight, but I love them. Like I love all these mods, but for this car, we're caring more about have the power so uh woo, buddy this thing is flying I, okay guys 1500 likes guys i will throw on a gopro and race jonathan again and we will win the trophy back because jonathan took it from me i know the first race we pretty much have pretty much you know we're back to, we're pretty much I, I mean i think i won i won the first race second race as soon as my car started heat soaking i lost so 1500 likes guys and we will race jonathan again but in the 135 n54 versus n55 nation where y'all at so pulling up to the one and only harbor freight <laughs> so we're here boys uh let's go ahead and just find a little quick little parking spot I love Harbor Freight. I haven't honestly been here in a very long time, uh, ever since honestly COVID, to be honest. So let's find a little quick little parking spot and uh, get that fuse. Actually, I'm probably gonna park all the way out here so we can get the locks to work before we actually head out. Might as well fix it in the parking lot, make it something special. Pretty much this thing was 850. I used their 20% off coupon on their website. They always have a coupon and uh, I got this for about $10. I mean, I got this for about $7. And uh, that doesn't look good. Okay, well. Um, 
I actually just remember, I think that's my windshield washer fluids. God damn it. Goodness gracious. Oh man. All right, well, I'm just gonna have to let it drain out. Nothing else I can do about that. Thank the Lord windshield washer fluids are only like, like how much? A dollar? So, <laughs> thank the Lord that's not too crazy, but uh, we did get the fuses. So let's go ahead and put that 20 amp for the door. And then I'm actually gonna be uh, packing this up in a few little mini bags. and just put a few in every single one of my cars. So if I ever have an issue where a fuse randomly blows, I'm always prepared to have some fuses in the car. I think that's actually something I, 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 that's pretty smart to do. So I think I'm gonna do that. Why not? You know, I have all these fuses. I'm not gonna leave it in this car. And if I need it for the 435, I don't have any for the 435. So I'm gonna play a little bit smart, but without further ado, let's go ahead and install these fuses. So moment of truth, after replacing the fuse here at Harbor Freight, look at that boys, check that out, hey! Before you guys go ahead and spend, you know, $180 per door actuator, just get a fuse. Cost me $7 for the whole pack and I'm set for life. And he is super happy now the car is pulling right now. Not so happy with the little bit of the windshield washer fluid leak, but uh, that's a very simple fix. I think, I, I'm pretty sure I know exactly what that is. So it's actually not a big deal whatsoever. It's just a tiny little gasket that's there. So uh, I'm pretty sure we removed it when we actually removed the bumper. So once we actually remove the bumper again to uh, do the, the, to put the big intercooler in there, I'm gonna go ahead and just retighten that part up and we should be good to go. All right guys, we're officially at the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah, so hopefully tomorrow I'm gonna be heading out and looking at some supercars. Hopefully gonna be heading out and just looking at a few other possible builds or whatever, hopefully in the next video. So make sure to smash that button if you guys are excited for that. And also I'm gonna be installing some mods onto the 135. I'm still waiting on the packages to come and COVID's really delaying on my packages. But anywho, make sure to smash like button if you guys want me to upload in two days. I'm feeling a lot better than I did. I still kind of have a stiff neck. It's really hard to explain what's going on with me, but um, hopefully tomorrow morning I should be feeling a lot better and I should be ready to film again. Start getting you guys some pretty good vlogs because I'm pretty excited. We're super car hunting. I mean, like that's insane. So hopefully next video is super car hunting. So again, if you guys want to see that smash like button, without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Huge shout out to Burger Tuning for the fuel at Fuel Pump. If you guys want to check out that Fuel Pump, link down below. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I see you guys in the next one. Peace out.